Oh yeah, we got to cut a promo for YouTube. You guys remind me later, okay? I had a really great idea. I'll tell you about it later. It's related to finding this car. The idea is that I'm going to show you the car. I have a picture of my first car. Here, let me find that for you. Here it is. This is my first car ever. And the car behind it is my second car. The one in front is a 1988 Chevy Caprice police package. Uh, it's, it's called a 9C1. And the one behind it is a 1998 Ford Crown Victoria Interceptor. Both are good cars, but I want to find the one in front for sale. So the idea is, this is very hard to find, right? The idea is that I'll make a YouTube video and it'll be like a wanted ad, you know? We smooch our nipples here. This is a 1988. But I'm looking for a 88, 89, or 90. 90 is most preferable. 90 is throttle body. This is carbureted. Carbonated. Yeah, it was carbonated. Shut up. No, I don't want a salvage. No way. No salvage. I don't want a salvage. No way. And I want it to be as clean as possible. It doesn't have to necessarily be in excellent mechanical shape but it does need to be in excellent shape otherwise as clean as possible is very measurable you're right but the good news is i know i could look at this car whatever car you show me and i'll instantly know what it's worth so there's no way i'll be ripped off so this is a safe shopping venture I know, I know everything about these cars, bottom to top. Windshield wipers don't work? Let me finger this thing right here, and you're good to go. Trust me, okay? So that's why this is a safe, you know, idea. I mean, safe in terms of me getting ripped off. Anyway, yeah, these cars are very hard to find now because they were used for... Uh, you know, not only cop cars, but also for taxi cabs for many years. And then the movie industry used them because they realized that they're not going to be able to make movies about fucking, you know, the 90s and have cars in them uh, for long if they keep fucking crashing all these cars, right? So these cars are extinct. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe No Pants can just cut a promo from what we're saying right now. Maybe this can be the promo. Hmm. Nah, it's got to have more info. Uh, okay, so I want to get a dog, right? That's the idea, right? And I need to get a car. So I want to get this car. And I've been shopping for it, and it's very hard to find. So I was thinking maybe the internet could help a ninja out and help me find this car for sale. So here's what I need. 1988, 89, or 90. But it can't just be a regular Chevy Caprice. It's got to be the police package, which is called a 9C1. And the way you identify a police package from the outside is right here. Well, I guess you can't see my mouse, but the side view mirrors are chrome. If the side view mirrors are not chrome, it's not a police package. So that's from outside. If you can see under the hood, the hoses are green. If it has green hoses, it means it's a police car. Those are high temperature hoses because the car is like super mega buff. Everything about it is like high temperature, bigger brakes, better suspension. Uh, three, it's a 5.7 liter engine instead of the 5.0 liter engine, which comes with the regular one. So... It's got to be a police package, preferably in good mechanical condition, but more importantly, in good, you know, cosmetic condition. That would be ideal if it has no dents 
you know, the interior <laughs> is you. also important, but less important. The exterior, dense. I don't want dense. Frame damage. If the bumper is a little twisted, a little, maybe. Like the one you're looking at right there. The front bumper was... Actually, you know, one time I was like 15 when I bought this car, right? And I bought this car at that time. How old? How What year was that? I don't even know. Maybe 1998. I bought this car in like 1998 when I was 15. It was my first car. I bought it for 500 bucks. Okay? And the back bumper, it didn't have a radio. I wanted to get a CD player. So I went to get a CD player. It was pouring rain. And the back bumper was already bent. It was like crooked. It was pouring rain. I paid all this money. I got the CD player. I was super pumped. I turned on uh, another one, Bites the Dust by Queen. And I put the car in reverse and started backing up. And I crashed into a tree. And I was so sad because I spent all this money getting a CD player. And, uh, you know, it was pouring rain. I didn't see. I was new to driving. I just got my first car. I crashed into a tree. So I got out, pouring rain. I went to see the damage. And I looked at my car. And that tree fucking straightened out the back bumper perfectly. I mean, like it used a fucking slide ruler perfectly straightened my bumper and it was like no mechanic could have done it better than that tree praise be i got in the car all wet and i drove off as this was a sick car dude it was a really good car anyway that's why i want to get it i want to get it again because when i look at all these old beaters right i want to get my favorite one so i know everything about it right and you know if it's anywhere in the U.S., as long as it's not rusty, I'm considering purchasing it and having it shipped. It's not out of the question, you know? So, if anyone has any leads, if anyone's grandma, you know, or everyone, anyone's dad, you know, maybe has a lead, has a, the car sitting in a garage, it will be in a truly uh, uh, well-loved home, for sure. So, I don't know, maybe let me know. Leave a comment and a like and a thumb. Cut. Did I forget anything? We can, we can, like, I can say stuff now and then no pants will go and put it in the beginning like I said it smooth the first time. Price range is not necessary because I know what the car is worth. So, when somebody says, hey, I found this car. I'm going to call the guy. I'm going to look at the pictures. And then I'm going to tell him, okay, look, I know you're full of shit. It's worth this much. Or I'm going to say, look, hey, I'll pay you. You know, if they're asking me for a thousand bucks and the car's worth two thousand bucks, I'll pay him two thousand bucks. That's the way it works. Because the cosmos is watching me. All right. And they know I know. So I want a good car and I want to drive the car for a long time. A long time. And if I you know, jerk this grandma off for a thousand bucks, that car is going to break down. Guaranteed. No way around that. So, you know, I know what the car's worth. That's why I'm not worried about being ripped off. I, you know, I just don't want it to be salvaged. No rust. Uh, uh, I don't care about, like, if the windows don't go down or things like that. I don't care <laughs> yeah, if the ceiling is collapsing. That's common. You know, the cloth in the old Chevys, it'll collapse. Tears in the seats, kicks in the door panels. None of that's a problem. What if it's covered in semen? Someone shoot that guy. Uh, no semen, preferably. The, do the car is not just for a dog either. I mean, you know, last December, my mom was like, hey, you know, I want to get a Christmas tree. And I was like, I'm not going to put a fucking giant tree in my nice car. Hell no. So I had to like finagle it, you know, like I had to go get a truck. Where are you going to get a truck, right? So anyway, point is, mm, I want to have a car that I could put a Christmas tree in and not worry about it fucking up the car, is what I'm saying. And this is the car I want. Say how to contact you. Mm, well, this is going to be a YouTube video. So 
all you have to do is leave a comment or my Twitter. That works too. At avoid the puddle. And on there, there's also an email too. I forget what it is. I think it's business or something. Business at avoiding the puddle. I don't remember. No, it's not. Why not? What's not? This guy's getting butt hurt because we're messing with this bread and butter. Hey, you keep that attitude up and I'll play fucking GTA 5 with the music turned up or GTA <laughs> yeah, San Andreas with the music you. turned up for a month straight. I'll be a speedrunner. How you like those fucking rap songs in GTA San Andreas? You like those? Yeah, I know you like those. I'll turn the fucking volume up. In fact, I might put the volume, uh, uh, the, the soundtrack of that on this. Hmm? Hey, no pants. Don't make this video funny. This is not a fucking joke, dude. I really want a car. All right? No pants. Make sure you take out every joke. If I even see one joke in that video, dude. This isn't some fucking joke, dude. I really want a car. All right? Take all the jokes out. Only non-joke related material in this video no jokes cut that bitch off next caller don't banish and zero pants to the curly machine frown the curly machine who said that did i say that hey thanks trump paul he'll be all right smile don't worry about him shut up face hey thanks trump paul and gambit all right all right i think i nailed the promo perfectly Offer a finder's fee. Wow. That's an even better idea. Hey, no pants, is that a good idea? There's a reward, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nothing sexy. 